Ah, Bobby Burke, the man who can turn a doorless closet into a five-star spa, is selling his Hollywood Hills Palace. One can only wonder, is it his stunt to put I have too much taste to stay in one place in action? Clearly, the only thing as solid as his aesthetic is his ability to drop a house apparently the size of a small country. Maybe he's just trying to escape the paparazzi. Clearly, the best of Queer Eye season everyone's talking about is just him, trying to dodge yet another open house mishap. Now, imagine the future owners. What would a family of average Joes do in a place so graphically rebellious? I can see it already. Welcome to our new abode, home of an unpaid interior designer and a collection of very unlivable furniture pieces. Those gorgeous views of the skyline are just gonna haunt them as they sip from their heavily mismatched mugs, reminiscing about the stylish parties they will never have. Of course, we can't forget the fabulous decor that comes with Bobby's home. I mean, who needs couches when you have art that doubles as a turndown service for your ego? Every inch screams cheekness, and yet, Owning it would probably have most of us too scared to do anything remotely human, like spill coffee or try to set foot in the no-shoes zone. Good luck, future owners, on trying to achieve real life in this pedestrian museum. It's clear that Bobby has listed this property not only for a fresh start, but possibly as a commitment-free hot property. Who needs commitment when your kitchen is capable of throwing shade sharper than a center of a disco ball at 2 a.m.? Maybe he just got tired of sharing all that glam in the form of maintenance. And who can blame him? Who said breaking up with a home can't be fabulous? With a price tag that's likely as tall as Burke himself, one has to question, are we paying extra for the Queer Eye experience? Like, does the listing come with a side of inspiring pep talks and surprise makeovers? Let's just hope the next lucky homeowner can handle the immense pressure of living up to a space that practically screams, be fabulous or go home. Surely it take quite the collection of affirmations to settle in comfortably. Overall, it seems like Bobby's next chapter might just be curtains up in a different location, not too far from a fabulous brunch spot if we're lucky. This just in, the new owners will require a crash course on how to manage the pride of home improvement delivered right through the front door. Can you imagine the pressure? What if they can't live up to that magnetic charisma Bobby emanates? Their home should literally come with a warning. Will you be the person who gets to walk through Bobby Burke's hallowed halls of design excellence? Or will you just settle for a Pinterest board full of what could have been? Come on, tell me, if you had the keys, would you even dare to put your feet on that priceless flooring or would you just cautiously levitate around the house with an air of sheer reverence? Like and subscribe, please.